as we get ready to come back this fall to campus on Montgomery College, I want to talk about some of the requirements that you're going to be able to required to go through as we return to campus. I know there are a lot of concerns out there, but if we follow these protocols, if we do the things we're supposed to, our return to campus this fall should be very successful and safe. The first thing you want to remember anytime you get ready to leave to come to the Montgomery College campus is bring a mask. Masks are required to be worn inside any Montgomery College facility. And if you do not bring a mask with you, you will be pride one to wear during your time on the Montgomery College campus. You are required to wear a mask whenever you are inside any building. There's another thing you need to remember to do before you leave for campus in the morning. Any day that you're coming to the Montgomery College campus, before you come to campus, you need to complete the daily health screening that's on the Montgomery College webpage. There are several ways you can do this daily health screening. They call it the health self-assessment. One of the ways is you can navigate to the Montgomery College webpage, and you can see at the top here, it says health self-assessment, and you can click on the health self-assessment and the daily COVID symptom self-assessment will come up. You can scroll down and you will enter your MCID and password here. Once you click submit, this page will come up. And if you scroll down, you can see your name and email address are already filled in. You go through the symptoms of uh, COVID, um, cough, shortness of breath, fevers, and so on and if you are not experiencing any of these you click not experiencing we also want to check you for contact with people who have had COVID so you look at these um, oops I scrolled down too low these questions and you click none of the above and if you've done that you can click once you've done that you can click submit and this will be sent to your email. There's no record kept of it at the college other than the, send, the copy sent to your email and you're ready to go to campus. If you do have symptoms of COVID, you should not come to the college if you have symptoms of COVID. You should contact your physician and you should contact your uh, instructor also. There is also a QR code that you can scan with your mobile phone that will take you to the daily health assessment page in the QR code is this one right here. And it's important to remember that these daily health screens are not saved by the college. They are emailed to your email account that we have on file and there is no other record of it. So what are the classroom protocols that you can have to go through when you arrive for your class and you go to enter the classroom? First, hand sanitizer will be provided at the entrance to all classrooms. Upon arriving at the classroom, use the sanitizer to clean your hands. Second, we're going to be keeping closed tabs on attendance in case we need to do contact tracing. So check your name off on the attendance sheet if applicable. Some instructors may have an attendance sheet at the entrance for you to check off. Others may take um, attendance orally when you get into the class your instructor will explain to you which they happen to be doing for your class. Next, disinfecting wipes are provided in each classroom. Please take a wipe and clean your work area. In the lab, this is going to be your workbench and your fume hood. In the classroom, it's going to be the desk and the seat that you're going to be working at. We will not be using social distancing this semester, but we will try to keep our distance as much as practicable. Um, we're going to minimize travel around the class space. I know in certain instances this is not possible. When you're working in lab, you have to go and get reagents. You have to use shared equipment. Everyone doesn't have their own balance, for instance. But we're going to minimize um, this as much as possible. And if you're in a lab and you're getting a shared chemical, don't form a large line near that chemical. Wait for others to get their chemical. And then when that space is empty, go and get yours. And as much as possible, give others their space and keep your space from them so that we can approach some measure of social distancing when possible. At the end of class, when you're leaving, you want to sanitize your work area again with a disinfecting wipe before you leave, and you want to use the hand sanitizer upon exiting the classroom.
And remember, you need to keep your mask on when you're in any Montgomery College facilities. If you do have symptoms of COVID-19, do not come to campus. Let me know as soon as possible. I'm not going to penalize you in terms of your coursework for being cautious in avoiding coming to campus with COVID-19. We will work out a way for you to make up the work you missed, but let me know as soon as possible so we can schedule this as soon as possible and work out our, the rescheduling as well as possible. Get tested. In Montgomery County, you can find out about testing information at this web address right here. But get tested. If you test positive, let me know and contact Montgomery College Public Safety. This is the web link or the email address for public safety. And this is the phone number that you can call. But you need to let me and Montgomery College know if you test positive. If someone in our class does test positive, we will be doing contact tracing. In order to do the contact tracing, I will need to have a current phone number for you. The contract tracing phone call will come from this phone number, 240-466-4488, or MD-COVID. So if you see those numbers on your phone, you should answer them because they're about the contact tracing. One last thing I want to mention is that if we are careful and we follow the guidelines outlined in this video with regard to masking, with regard to staying home when we have symptoms, with regard to sanitizing our areas, we should not have any problems this semester. However, the situation is very fluid and things may change depending on lots of factors that are outside of our control. If there is a need to switch back to remote construction, everything is in place for this to happen already. There should be no hiccups or no um, hard problems that we have to solve. Everything is all ready for this course to switch. If this does happen, if we do need to switch, I will let you know when this happens, if this happens. It's Probably not, but we're covering all contingencies. And I will give you exact instructions on what you have to do. As I said earlier at the beginning of this video, it's going to be a good semester. If we take these precautions, everything will run smoothly and we will have a good experience this fall. If you have any questions at all or any concerns at all, please contact me by email or by phone and I will discuss with you all of your questions and concerns and I'll make sure that we resolve everything in a way that's satisfactory to us all.